And elsewhere, Manyata MP Gitonga Mukunji has challenged the National Government Constituency Development Fund Board at the constituency to work round the clock to recover the lost time and ensure that all processes are in place before pupils go back to school in January of 2023. Speaking after unveiling the NGCDF board, Mukunji observed that MPs are faced with a big challenge in dealing with NGCDF, which was reinstated a few days ago. Manyata MP Gitonga Mukunji says the CDF boards must fast track the issuance of bursaries and ensure that the grade 6 pupils are transitioning to junior secondary and get the requisite environment at their primary schools. Treasury has committed with a letter to parliament to be releasing 2 billion Kenya shillings per week. Mukunji noted that there are many projects that were supposed to have been completed but were delayed, adding that the junior secondary will need classes and labs that were initially built in secondary schools. We are already in a crisis because in the next year, February, we should be having junior secondary schools from the current uh, CBC. And this means there are things that are supposed to have been done that are not yet done. This, uh, I am talking of laboratories in our primary schools, and I'm talking of uh, the, the, the classrooms, extra classrooms for the junior uh, secondary schools. Embu North Deputy County Commissioner called for transparency in the management of the board, adding that the people must feel the effect of government funds. transparency and accountability Na sisi, tuta, tuta waunga mkono na sote tutafanya kazi pamoja ili tujenge eh, eneo hili la bunge la manyata.